In this video, I'll show you how the VGAF testing tool works when you want to test SAP PI PO. The idea is to make it as simple as possible to create test cases within the Java framework so you can test the full communication channel from communication channel modules uh, all the way to it being delivered to the communication channel. We do not test the communication channels in most cases. Um, the idea is that you select an ICO and the tool has access to all the different ICOs on the system. So let's select a couple here. And what we can then do is we can say record messages and we can create a new test suite. This could be finance, this could be something else. PI. And we can add data about the message or the partner uh, e either via XPath. So we know in, in the income document what's the, the data in here and we can have the seller or something else as a part of this. Uh, so this could be for message, it could be the credit or debit. Uh, <laughs> if it was invoice or credit uh, memo you're sending because there may be some different rules and the idea is that you get a big a variety of, of data and then you can trim down and say okay we only want 200 messages per partner if you have one partner with too many messages you can trim and, and say it's only these messages we then have the number of messages we want to record in real scenarios you probably want to record a little more than three messages and then we have some different configurations on this we will request our licenses and it will then create the test case for these things and now we can take the data so now we've just created a test case we can select here plus or start this will check all these uh, icons here to see is the modules added to the system so we have a number of different ways we can run the testing on the preferred way is to add a module in the beginning and the end of the processing chain and this module is then the VGAF module and this will put the message into a GMS queue that the VGAF tool will then pick out uh, later or once the message has been processed that's the preferred option obviously in some cases you are not allowed to install uh, uh, third-party components and then we can use the SAP standard uh, module uh, locking module for it and it's all the part that you can configure in the configuration and the other thing is we also have an option just to use the normal ICO locking if you do not want to change the communication channel. It is not the recommended approach, but if you want to do a POC and see how it works, it may be a way to go. So now we have sent here, we have configured it, and now we just need to wait until someone pro process messages on this system. So now we can see we have created test cases or we have data from these uh, data. We can look at the instance, uh, this one, uh, number two, we can view the data. We can see all the data that's relevant here. And let me just make a modification on this one. Um, so we know there should be one of them with some errors on. So this was number two. Um, and we can go back. So we have access to all the data here. We can create our test cases. And obviously for the one here, most likely it's something that it is failing once in, in the communication channel. Um, so we cannot create test cases for it here. You can specify which system you want to be able to, to run it on as default. And it has an option to do mapping between the different systems. So you can configure that the SAP uh, ERP system is called uh, ERP and ERD on development. So you have those kind of options. We'll just delete this so we're not recording anymore on that one. So now we have created a test case. We can specify where we want to run it. And let's just run it on our T75 system, which is our test system. Um, and what this will then do is it will send the messages into this. Uh, it will download the messages once they have been processed. And if we open this one, number two here, we can view the results here. And we can see we're getting some errors. We can view the diffs. 
and we see here there's actually a date that is a difference here and to ignore it we simply just click add date to it and now we can ignore dates in it and the same thing for dynamic properties they also compared in this one we can do a full comparison again uh, that will then run comparison of all these different documents and we can see what is going on and if there's any challenges with these things so there may be some different things here uh, we did add date it is there so sometimes it just takes a little while and needs to to find the, the correct uh, properties so now we can see it's only this first one that has this this diff that we expect it to have and we can as a way we can massage these test cases and make sure that they're creating the correct uh, data for it so we just update this to the relevant test case and now next time we run it this will be a way we will see the data um so and we'll need to go go through the other messages the same way and see hey what's going on here we can also run it on a different system and in most cases obviously you want to run take the data from your productive system run them on the development system and see what's going on in this case it's just a synchronous process but it supports uh or async process it supports synchronous just the same way uh bridges async sync and sync async bridges uh, you don't need to handle anything in in those cases either um, and th this full process just makes it a lot simpler for you to to manage your integration so we see here on when we take the same test case and run them on our development system we are also getting some challenges um, we can view these differences and see what what is going on and there is some some difference with our mappings that we have updated so we can actually see there is some difference between our QA and productive system that we would should need to to look into and figure out why this is and if it's okay we can update the test case to say this is now the real data so that's in general how it works um, some of the the cooler things that it has is if you're testing um, EDI or X12, it supports the incoming, it supports the uh, B2B separator. So you can create test cases and run them with the B2B separator. If you look at, we have a scenario. So here we have one, and if we'll just look into this, we can see it is some EDI documents if we look at here we can see the payloads uh, we can see a testing result once this has been processed we can view the data here from this test view the test data we can view the comparison we can see it yeah we can see it's edifact it supports X x12 the same way we can see the differences and also here we have the option to to run and configure different ignoring option to make sure that you're processing data correctly then um, another challenge of this uh, you have some confidential data if you're taking this data from your productive system some of this will be confidential and you don't really know what the data is and what it's supposed to be so we have two ways of of enabling you to test with uh, with mock data one is that we can take some of the payload so you can specify a given part of the document so let's just take the company name here we can specify it with the next path in here because you probably want to put the ag in we can generate with a random value from template and we have a number of different templates that you can use and you can so we can add functions like first name there's a mapping table you can create with all these values so you can create the things that matters for you and you can also add uh, numbers uh, to the processing so you can create multiple tina toms whatever into it then you will then see here we have created carol uh, in this document and what you'll then do is you'll create a clone of the test case it will take this test case 
add this as the input document and then once you process it you'll then go through and and handle the test data in that way so that's a good way if you know that there is some some data in this that's confidential if you just remove this data like customer name it's okay um, and customer can use it if you have the scenarios where you're testing with a lot of data that's confidential it's difficult to really understand what's going on and who knows the data we also have a, an other way and that is having confidential test cases so let me just find one of those so here we have one this uh, this data has been co collected from for instance our productive systems if we look at the data there's a, a mark on it if we open this and view the result of this comparison we it's, we can see where that there's some problems in it we can view the diffs here and as we can see, I think it's the same document that we have seen earlier, but instead of actually showing the dates and everything else, it's just showing some numbers. That means you don't know who is in question here, or what's going on, and stuff like that. There, we do have an option if you have a specific role that you can switch and see this, this data. So the comp, some, some trusted persons that know the data, they can go in and see the real data but outside our external consultants can just see that there's a difference in this document and see okay date that's probably okay that changes they can run and ma manage the test cases in that way um, so that enables you to test and you can only run these tests on specific systems you have uh, made sure are secured uh, and the data will not leave the the pi system and they will be blocked in the communication channel um, so those are the things that enable you to actually scale and be able to do these uh, testing without having to know all about the data before you're testing it um, so those were the things i wanted to show you as a part of this there's a whole host of different configurations and settings and stuff like that you can go around playing around with making sure that it, it tests the specific cases that you have uh, ignoring of empty element uh, specific ignoring for uh, decimals so 0 0.01 is equal to 0 0.01100 uh, uh, those kind of things make it really simple to create the test cases on um, and the, the the idea is that you don't need to be an expert in any of the systems just in the pi system to be able to test and manage these things there's uh, yeah you can schedule these test suites so they run every night and you'll get a report that says hey we have a problem on this specific system we also do recommend to, to bundle it with the DevOps solution that will then enable you to, once you're doing changes, test all the different uh, changes that you have and make sure everything works as it's always or is expected to do. So I um, hope you want to try it out. Go to gaf.com forward slash testing um, and see the, the tool and what it can do. So uh, thank you.